Yesterday, I saw thousands of people floating down this river, and now I'm here with my scuba gear to dive down and search for the things they lost along the way. Like this poor guy's iPhone and wallet. Another phone, it has an ID inside. Oh, it's a whole wallet. But what do I do with all this lost property? That's the fun part. On this dive alone, I find the owners of four lost valuables, and their reactions are by far the best part of my job. This waterproof metal detector will light up and vibrate when it goes over any metal object which will help me find the things that are hiding in the weeds and mud. Treasure fam, we've got ourselves an epic adventure all the way to the end of the video, so make sure to stick around. Let's go find some goodies. We're off to a slow start with this beer can being the first find of the day, but trust me, I do not leave the dive today empty handed. Somebody lost their driver's license. Shoot. Maybe you can contact them while I'm underwater. <laughs> He's probably still sleeping. He looks like he dropped it yesterday. Yeah, we'll get it back to him today. So I put a little note in the envelope just explaining that I'm a diver and I found his uh, ID and I mailed it off. Not exactly sure what kind of drink this is, but it was never opened. After just a few minutes of searching, I found my first exciting find of the day, guys. I just, oh, wow. I just found this right underneath us. Oh, wow. Look how long it's been down there. That's crazy how long it's, it's been sitting slimy. there. Yeah, that's, it's toast. That's crazy. Here, open your bag. I'll drop it. All right. This cichlid is looking kind of territorial, uh, like it's trying to guard its nest or something, so I'm going to go ahead and move on. There you go. Can you see this? Look, look, ready? Oh, wow. <laughs> That's an iPhone 13, I think. Looks like it's kind of been down there for a little while. Is it? Is it moisture inside of the lens? Well, no, but look around to see, like, that residue. Oh, yeah. There is mo there is water inside of this case, though. It might still work. Yeah, That's that a big old phone. Look at in comparison to my hand. I know. Look how... Get some carpal tunnel working on this. <laughs> <laughs> An iPhone 13 Pro, I believe. Uh, let's go ahead and see if it turns on, guys. Please work. Did have some water inside the case, so let's see if it still works. Oh, yes, it works. Just booted up, and it looks like it works just fine. So let's get the phone number off the SIM card and give them a call, guys. Going. Good man, how are you doing? I can't complain. It's, I mean, it sounds like you found my phone from a while back. Let me show you and see if it uh, looks familiar. Oh that yes, that that is the that is the body kit I wanted to put on my car when I had it. <laughs> I'm Dallas. I'm Zach. Good to meet you, man. All right, so here it is. Oh man. 
I haven't seen I haven't seen this phone in I don't know how long. I'm surprised it worked. Hey, you got it in, you got it unlocked and everything. You remember your passcode? Man, this really is pretty cool. I was not expecting this at all. That is that is awesome. Picked it out just for you. Hey, good to meet you, man. Yes, and you have as well. a safe drive back. Let's go find some more. My seven-year-old son is never not excited when I come home with one of these things to put in his shoe. Is your Bluetooth speaker rolling low? No. <laughs> Got a new one. Oh my gosh. Well, an old one. Let's see. Okay, let's see if it turns on. I don't think it will, because look at how... It's mossy. Yeah, it's been down there for a long time. Oh, here's the seat. Okay. Yeah, I don't hear anything. Yeah. But we might be able to dry it out. I've been shocked by these Bose ones before. It's not a beach ball. A beach ball? Yeah. No. <laughs> nice catch. Don't ask me how a grinding wheel ends up at the bottom of a tubing river, but here it is, and it looks like this is also a spot where the trash kind of accumulates with the current. So I spent a little time here to get this little spot cleaned up. And it wouldn't be a river dive without finding one of these things. I, I mean, I still find these things like every two or three dives. Another phone. Oh, but guess what? It's phone. open. It was open when I found it. Look at all the mud inside. I still haven't opened it. What's inside? Find me phone. Let me see. Oh, iPhone 7 Plus. It has a little button. Uh huh. It's an oldie. It might still turn on. I don't know. Let me see the lens. Is it, uh, yeah, it looks like it's got some moisture in the lens. That's not a good sign. Yeah, it does. Yeah, that was very kind of deep the least likely to turn on and did not have a, a protective case or anything like that so let's give it a try so far i do not see any sign of life do you guys oh look at that check it out guys it works just uh pow booted up so let's see if it's got a lock on it <gasps> what no freaking lock i am in shock Th this happens very very rarely so all I have to do now is go to the contacts. My card right there, that's her Sarah. Yes, this is awesome. Even though this does make it easier on me to find the owner of this phone, I do not recommend not putting a passcode on your phone, guys. Sarah got super lucky that I happened to be the one that found it, but if this fell into the wrong hands, she could be in some serious trouble. Stumbling across Sarah's unlocked iPhone is a great reminder about how crucial it is to protect our personal data. Have you ever Googled yourself and were shocked to see your personal information exposed on one of those public listing sites? Just type in your phone number, email address, or your name, and you will be shocked. Data brokers are making a fortune selling your information to to robocallers, spammers, and others who just want to learn more about you, like where you live. That's why I'm excited to tell you guys about today's sponsor, Aura. Aura can identify data brokers exposing your info and submit opt-out requests on your behalf. Data brokers are actually legally required to remove your info if you ask them to, but they make it super hard to do. Let Aura handle it for you. You can actually try Aura for free for two weeks by clicking my link down below in the description and in the pinned comment. 
It's free for two full weeks. Aura does a ton more to protect you and your family from online threats you don't even know about. I was actually really impressed with how easy it was to set up too, guys. So you don't have to download a bunch of different apps to get things like parental controls, antivirus, VPN, password management, identity theft insurance, and more. You get everything at one affordable price and it's super simple. Is that a disc right here? I gotta go, I gotta go see. Whoa, check it out. It's a disc golf disc and I'm actually a disc golfer myself. There is a name and a phone number on the back. So I'm definitely getting this back to the owner at the end of this video. Keep watching to see that guys. So I've been using Aura for about three months now and I think one of my favorite features has to be the auto notifications. So if something does happen, like some kind of online data exposure or fraud, I'm gonna get notified right away so I can take care of it quickly. Trust me, Treasure Fam, let Aura do the hard work of keeping you safe online while you focus on living your best life with peace of mind. You can either let people continue to exploit and profit off your personal information or you can go to aura.com slash manriver to start your two week free trial right now, guys. I also put the link down below in the description and in the pinned comment. All right guys, let's try to contact Sarah. All right, let's FaceTime Sarah. I just wanted to confirm this is uh, this is your phone, right? That is my phone. That's crazy. Oh, that's great. I was like, oh, that was the same screen paper I had. And I read the message, I was like, oh my gosh. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> just text me the address you want me to ship it to and I'll get it out to you, okay? Okay, awesome. Thank you very much. So I shipped out Sarah's phone and when she got it in the mail, she actually texted me and she was like, so my boyfriend actually broke my phone today. Uh, and so now I'm gonna be using this one again. And so to this day, Sarah is using the phone that I just found in the river. One thing you might not know about metal detecting is that some trash items give the exact same signal as like a big expensive piece of jewelry, so sometimes I'll dig enthusiastically for like a full minute or two, and then find out it's just a piece of trash. But at least it's one less piece of trash than the river. Okay guys, I want to try something, so leave a comment down below and tell me if you pronounce this crawfish, crayfish, or crawdad, and I'm going to respond to every single comment and try to guess where you grew up. I got a closer look at this after the dive, and sadly it's not anything valuable, but it always gets my blood pumping when I find a gold looking piece of jewelry. Whenever this much time has passed since I found my last electronic, I start to get excited because I know that one must be coming soon. That makes sense, right? Check it out. Oh, wow. I think this one was dropped this was yesterday. Dropped yesterday, it looks, it looks like they just bought Let's it. Let's see if it still turns on. Okay. This is the test. Yeah, you don't hold it down, just push it. Ooh! <laughs> yes! I love these speakers. So guys, I just found out recently that only 12% of my subscribers are actually getting notified when I post, so I'm gonna show you how to fix that. After you subscribe, just tap on the little bell icon and then select all, and bam, you're gonna get notified whenever I post and you won't miss any more of my videos. Oh, my God. 
Man, lots of hats today. I think this is like the third one I found in this dive. Hold on to your hats. I've got a challenge for you. So after I put these sunglasses away, I find something real nice. Uh, let's see if you can spot it before I do. I got excited when I saw the driver's license in the back of the case, but there's actually more in this phone pouch, so keep watching to the very end to see me try to return this whole thing back to its owner. I was like, double prizes! But then I realized it's just a phone pouch, but I wanted to make sure that the phone hadn't fallen out of the pouch, so I checked this little pocket here and... And yeah, it was just the phone pouch. Another phone, it has an ID inside. Wow. Yeah, and there's no moisture inside. Yeah. This one has an ID in the back. So that's gonna be easy to give back to the owner. Oh, it's a whole wallet. What? Let's see if it turns on. yet. Oh yes, it works. <laughs> yeah, it's locked. Good for you. Lock your phones, guys. I'm gonna get the SIM card out of here, put it in my old uh, iPhone 5, and I'm gonna extract the phone number from that SIM card and contact them that way. Hello? Hi there. I am a uh, scuba diver, and I actually found a phone in the river. Did you lose a phone? Yes, I did. <laughs> um, I would love to get it back to you. Can you confirm what kind of phone and everything it is? It was an uh, iPhone uh, XR. Yeah, that's it. I want to show you the phone. There it is. I'm, su I'm surprised it's still turned on. Isn't that crazy? Thanks, man. <laughs> My name's Jose. Uh, good to meet you, Jose. Yes, and yeah, I'll uh, just send me send me the address and I'll get it shipped out. All right. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. Yeah, man. Have a good day. You too. Okay. Bye bye. We're doing really good, you guys. I got three phones returned, and let's see if we can get the fourth item back to its owner. It belongs to a person named Jadem. I'm not sure if I'm uh, pronouncing that right. Hey, Jadem, I found your disc. Would you like it back sent? All right, so while we're waiting for Jadem to respond, I wanna tell you guys about something super exciting that you've been asking me for for a long time, and it's finally here. For the rest of 2023, whenever you place an order on manplusriver.com, as long as it's over $15, you're getting a piece of river treasure in your order. I've been saving up all the treasure I've been finding in the ocean, lakes, and rivers, so as long as I can't return something back to its owner, it's up for grabs and it's going to you when you place an order on manplusriver.com in 2023. There are some really great design t-shirts, hats, and stickers on the website, you guys. Go place your order right now and let's see if Jadem responds to that text. He said, he said, which one? <laughs> oh man, he, he's lost multiple discs, hopefully not in the same day. I've had that happen before and it's not a fun time. What if you guys lose a disc? <laughs> yeah. Is that you? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm, uh, I'm Dallas. Hey, Dallas. Good to meet you. What's your Graham. name? Graham. Graham. Good to yeah. meet you. All right. So here's the disc. Cool, man. Me and my buddies 
we lost it like two, three weeks ago, yeah. and we looked for probably 20 or 30 minutes, way longer than we would normally look for a disc. Yeah. I won this disc in a tournament, actually. I was did you say, really? Did you win that? I won that on the 4th of July tournament two years ago. I was playing no in a way. scramble with my brother-in-law. Yeah, and we mark him with our names. I called you in the video, I called you Jadam. <laughs> Jadam. Jadam. That's Jadam. my old Air Force call sign. Oh, nice. Well, I certainly appreciate it. Yeah. If you enjoyed this video, you're gonna love this one where I found the most phones I've ever found in one dive, and I was able to get a lot of them back to their owners. I'll see you guys right there.